Hi, I'm Barry Schwartz from Search Engine uh, Land and Search Engine Roundtable. I'm going to show you the new Google Voice, um, Google Mobile app with the voice recognition. So I'm just going to open up my iPhone right now, and I'm going to click on the Google Mobile application icon. Now up it comes. I don't know why you can see it. There's this little guy over here that um, ooh, location manager came up. Clicking OK. There's this little guy over here that actually is like animating, saying, "Hey, you can use the." Uh, you can actually use the actual voice icon. So what I'm going to do is click on the voice search. Barry Schwartz. So it should be able to translate my query right now, which I just queried for Barry Schwartz. I don't know if you can see that. So this is the top Barry Schwartz. I'll take a screenshot right now so I could post it in the actual, uh, I'll post an image of it. It actually came out with Barry Schwartz search results. What I can now do is click on this little top URL where it says Barry Schwartz as a query and it should open up suggestions, which it has. So you can see it came up with Barry Schwartz, Gary Schwartz, Harry Schwartz, Jerry Schwartz, etc, etc. I can then click on X or click on the arrow again and it removes those results so here's the actual search landscape results you can see that probably now um, then if I want I can actually click on the images and it will bring up some image results for Barry Schwartz that is not me but that is me with Chris Box and, Dar and Darren Babbitt let me try one more query Hold on, I'm going to query for Barry Schwartz images. So now it's working. Whoops. Let's see what it comes up with. Hopefully it'll come up directly to image results. It was smart. There it has the image uh, one box results at the top. So overall, it's pretty cool. Um, there's lots of blog posts out there. I'll link to that in my blog post at Search the Land. And... Um, it's pretty interesting stuff, so definitely check it out. To download it, all you have to do um, is go to iTunes, go search for Google Mobile App, download the latest version, and then you should be able to use it. Um, by default, it's not on, but you can definitely turn it on by hitting the settings icon on the uh, bottom of that page. Everybody, thanks for listening. My name again is Barry Schwartz, as you, as you know, and this is for searchingland.com.